Good morning, children. Today we are going to discuss about the atmospheric refraction and also what leads to the tingling of stars. Before that, I am going to ask some question that we discussed in the previous class. There we discussed about the rainbow. What is the reason to the formation of a rainbow? Or which phenomenon is the which phenomenon causes the formation of a rainbow? Try to remember it. Which is the phenomena? There is the remaining part you can feel. It is due to say what is it? Dispersion. Dispersion. Then now we say what is the reason for dispersion? Dispersion is the or dispersion is caused by refraction. Then what about the refraction? What about the refraction? Can you remember it? What is refraction? When light travels from one medium to another that means from one transparent medium to another there is a change in its direction or change in its path or it deviates there is deviation deviation is the reason for a refraction why this deviation is different this deviation is based on Wavelength. What is a wavelength? Now, among this, which color deviates more? Deviation of which color? We know different colors such as violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. This is the increasing order of wavelength. That means from violet to red. Wavelength increases. Wavelength here wavelength increase from which color to which that is from violet to red. Wavelength increase. That means then if when the wavelength increase, what happens to frequency? When wavelength increase, frequency decrease. That means among this. Uh, frequency for red is the lowest one and the maximum frequency with the violet tail. That is the difference. Now, this deviation based on wavelength, that wavelength changes from violet to red. So, among these, which color deviate or change its path more? Violet. And which deviate least among these? Among these? Red deviated the least. Then also these all colors together. What it is called? This all colors together is called spectrum of visible light. Spectrum of visible light. These all colors together we used to say spectrum of visible light. Now, see, these are the things uh, we discussed in the previous class that all things you know now because rainbow is formed due to dispersion. What is actually dispersion? It is the splitting up of a composite light. Splitting up of a composite light. Example, white light split into its uh, different colors. Why this split happens? Uh, it is due to refraction. What is the reason? Refraction. 
Why? The, what is actually refraction? That means when light passes from on transparent medium to another opaquely, that uh, uh, deviates its path. Why this deviation is different for different colors? Uh, it is based on wavelength. Which color is the shortest wavelength among this? Uh, violet. And with the longest wavelength, uh, red. When we consider about the frequency among this, highest frequency is with the violet uh, and uh, lowest frequency is with the uh, red. Now, these all colors together constitute uh, what is called uh, spectrum of visible light. Spectrum of visible light. Once again, see this rainbow. When we discussed about the uh, rainbow, uh, there is a dispersion for that. Uh, there are at first there is a, a refraction, then there is internal reflection, internal reflection, then there comes uh, again a refraction. Again comes a refraction. That means in rainbow, actually a rainbow is formed. A rainbow is formed due to at first a refraction, then internal reflection, then again refraction. This way a rainbow is formed. This is the reason for the formation of rainbow. This all process together constitute the formation of rainbow. So that is the, uh, this all together is the dispersion. In this dispersion, there is a refraction, then internal refraction, then again refraction. In the rainbow, the outer edge color is uh, which uh, red and uh, inner edge color is uh, violet. Uh, and uh, where we used to see rainbow, just opposite of the sun. Now, see, here we are going to discuss after this atmospheric refraction. What is a atmospheric refraction? Suppose, see, here is a hot fire. That means there is a fire. That means above this fire, there is a hot air. What we can see? Just above this, there is hot air. That means here fire. Above the fire, what we can see, what we can observe, there is hot fire and its uh, temperature gradually decreases. And uh, when we observe, suppose here is an object, suppose that is, uh, here is an object, uh, we observe from here, that observe, we can see, that is, uh, above this hot air, that means above the fire there is a hot air, and when we observe an object through this, we can see that wave, that, that object is what is, uh, that is wavering or flickering. Because here is a turbulent wave. There is a turbulent air. And its uh, temperature is uh, different. That means this turbulent air, when we consider here, the refractive index of this hot air near the fire is less and above it is more. That means here the physical condition is not stationary. That means above this fire or a radiator, the air is turbulent and the physical condition is not stationary. Physical condition is not stationary. Physical condition is not stationary. That is, uh, there is a variation. Because of that, uh, when we observe through this hot turbulent air, we can see an object what is uh, flickering or wavering. Flickering or wavering. That means, uh, that is not uh, in uh, the stationary. There is some change we can observe. This is an example of atmospheric refraction. This is an example of atmospheric refraction. 
now see what is actually atmospheric refraction here when we observe an object through a hot air or turbulent air above fire or radiator that object we see in, 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 in which way that is a, that we can see flickering or wavering that means uh, there is a change uh, in, uh, in that object uh, we can observe that is an example of what is uh, atmospheric uh, that is an example of atmospheric refraction what is a uh, atmospheric refraction now we want to know about uh, why the stars tingle what is the reason for the stars tingle. Now, see, just before we discuss about what is atmospheric refraction, what is a atmospheric refraction? This tingling of star is an also an example or tingling of star is also due to what is the atmospheric refraction on large scale. That is a tingling of star is also due to atmospheric atmospheric refraction in a large scale see when we observe a star it is very very far away from us so that the star to us appear as a Point source of light, point source. That is a star, it is at a very large distance, so it appears as a point source. That means light from the star, when entered into the atmosphere, it undergoes continuous refraction due to the difference in temperature of its different layers. That is a when starlight, that means when starlight entering into the starlight, when entered into the atmosphere, it undergoes continuous refraction. Continuous refraction. And because of that refraction, it happens continuously. That means it bend, that means refracted light bend bend it towards, uh, that means a uh, little it bend uh, towards its uh, normal. So, when the star is at the horizon, we can see that the star is a little, uh, a little about uh, raised. And when this light uh, travels through, travels through, that means when starlight travels through this atmosphere, that undergoes continuous refraction. So, sometimes we get a uh, uh, the light intensity more and some other times the intensity of light is less that is the reason for refraction that means uh, due to this atmospheric refraction that means uh, we get uh, sometimes the starlight uh, with a more intensity and with uh, sometimes uh, uh, shorter intensity that means uh, lower intensity uh, because of that uh, the star appears uh, tingle why the star appears tingle? There you want to remember one, it is due to atmospheric refraction. It is due to atmospheric refraction. Is the refraction is happening only one time? Is it happening only one time? No, it happens continuously. Why? Because the refractive index of different layers not the same. That means refractive index is not the uh, same for all the layers. Uh, why this uh, star uh, near the horizon appears a little bit raised? Uh, because the refractive light uh, uh, bends slightly to the normal. So it is uh, a little uh, bit above uh, the horizon raised up. And also why uh, this uh, star is tingled? Because it is due to refraction, due to this refraction, we get uh, sometimes uh, starlight with uh, more intensity and uh, sometimes with uh, lesser intensity because of that uh, the star tingle. Because of that the star is uh, appearing in which way that is tingling. Now, 
you want to remember two things sir then uh, one question to you that is if the physical condition of the atmosphere is stationary just above the just above a hot fire we consider a hot fire above it physical condition is stationary you want to give its answer now okay now another this difference that is uh, this physical condition now you got idea about the uh, physical condition is not uh, stationary because of that uh, an object uh, seen through it uh, appears uh, what is uh, wavering or flickering and what it is called uh, it is called uh, atmospheric refraction when the atmospheric refraction is happening in large scale then that causes what tingling of star now we want to know why planets why planets not tingle why planets not tingle we discussed the star tingle stars are tingling but planets not tingle now see when we consider the distance to a planet compared to a star planets are not so far away so it is somewhat near compared to what is a stars so the planets are near to us hence the planets are appears to an extended object it appears to an extended object that means uh, planets are appears or uh, to an extended object uh, and also because of that uh, we cannot uh, get uh, what is uh, tingling of the planets if we consider these planets are a large number of pointed souls that means if we if we consider these planets are a large number of pointed souls then when we take out the light from all these pointed source its average out to become zero its average out when we consider a planet as a planet is actually what is an extended source an extended source but if we consider it as a pointed sized source with a large number then the light from the each part when we take on its average uh, its average out to become what is the uh, average out of the light from this all pointed source uh, become zero average out of this uh, average out of the uh, average out of the light from this all pointed source becomes uh, zero because of that uh, planets not uh, tingle planets are not uh, tingle now two questions to you what is actually atmospheric refraction try to remember its answer and second question is why stars tingle why stars tingle what is the reason for it is reason for atmospheric refraction one more question uh, why planets are not tingle why planets are not tingle Now another question. That means, uh, which one is closer to Earth, star or planet? Answer is what? Ah, uh, uh, that means planets are closer to Earth. Then another question. Planets we can consider as a consider as a point source or an extended source. Point source or extended source. then another question if we consider planet a large number of pointed source the light from its all when we take of its average out what is uh, how much uh, it becomes a uh, zero now we want to discuss another one thing that we say uh, sun rise and uh, 
sunset extended by about 2 minutes why the sunrise and sunrise sunset extended to about 2 minutes see actually what is sunrise this is our earth and the maximum distance this is the horizon now when the sun suppose here sun when enter into the that is a rise to and rise to the level of horizon then we say that is sunrise or sunset when the sun is above the horizon when the sun is above the horizon then we say that then only we can see it in normal case then we can say that the sun is rise but here you see light from the sun here is the atmosphere here suppose a person standing see here in the sun actually an object here we cannot see in the normal case this person can also uh, he cannot also see this one but uh, when the light from this reaching it is refracted in the atmosphere that means light from the sun uh, reaching to the atmosphere there it is refracted so we, he can see the sun and in its apparent position somewhat here so he can see the sun at two minutes before the sunrise and also after sunset he can see two minutes more now this is the apparent position of the sun this is the actual position so sun rise and sunset extended to about two minutes sunrise and sunset extended to two minutes it is due to the atmospheric refraction it is due to the atmospheric refraction how you see that is when does the when does we say sun is raised the sunrise that is when the sun is above the horizon or when the sun reaches the horizon we can see that the sunrise or in the same case also sunset if it is in between the horizon if it goes below it then we cannot see the sun in the normal case but due to but due to refraction atmospheric refraction we can see sun about two more minutes before and after the sun rise and sun set now two questions to you from this uh, let me say one question is that uh, after sunset how many minutes more you can see the sun how many minutes sir uh, but is it answer two minutes more you can see second question why we can see sun after sunset or before sunrise the sun two minutes more and the answer is for it is due to atmospheric refraction now which are the two question one answer is two minute which is the question for this two minute that is uh, how long we can see the sun after sunset or how many minutes before we can see the sun before its rise then second question answer is refraction what is the question related to this here the question is uh, why we can see sun two minutes before and two minutes after sunset the sun it is due to refraction now we are going to discuss another term that is
scattering of light what it is a scattering of light we know atmosphere is filled with air molecules dust particles smoke then also water droplets then other uh, type of small molecules see when we consider atmosphere it is actually a heterogeneous mixture but is actually atmosphere is a heterogeneous mixer atmosphere is a heterogeneous mixer that means uh, more than one kind of particles uh, what are the particles uh, there different that means air uh, molecules that means it is with the uh, different uh, molecules of the gases then it is filled with the uh, dust particles then also smoke then water droplets these are all suspended in the atmosphere these are all suspended in the atmosphere so when light that means when light passes through a clear solution when light passes through a clear solution then its path we can only see when it's a path we can only see when light passes through a clear solution when light passes through a clear solution if we can see the path of light through it can we see what about it answer no we cannot see light through it but when light passes through a colloidal fluid when light passes through a colloidal fluid then we can see the path of light through it we can see the path of light through it when light passes through colloidal fluid we can see the path of light in it for example in the morning we can see that is uh, we can see sunlight is passing through the uh, in between the trees because in the morning there is water droplets filled in the mist or in the forest also you can see the path of light why and also when light entering into the room in the morning or and uh, when sunlight entering into our room we can see the path in uh, through a narrow narrow or we can see the path of light because in our room also there is a uh, too much is uh, that is a dust particle so the path of light we can see there that act, that uh, room inside the room also act like a colloidal fluid so through a colloidal fluid we can see the path of light and uh, it is due to scattering actually we know what is scattering scattering is the irregular reflection of light that means irregular and partial reflection of light is the scattering that means irregular and partial reflection of light we can say as what is a, a scattering that means because of that suppose even though a, uh, there is no direct sunlight entering into our room but the light entering into the room due to what is uh, due to scattering when you are sitting under a tree there also you get uh, light because due to scattering actually what is the scattering it is the uh, irregular reflection of light irregular reflection of light is actually called uh, light when light passes through a colloidal fluid there it uh, there will be 
but is a irregular reflection or scattering take place uh, because of that uh, we can see the path of it uh, and it is called uh, Tyndall effect and that uh, it is called what is a uh, Tyndall effect it is called what is a uh, Tyndall effect now you want to remember see what is actually scattering of light what is scattering a uh, Before that, uh, just we can consider our atmosphere. What about uh, at, uh, what are the things you want to know about our atmosphere? Our atmosphere is a heterogeneous mixture. That means it is filled with uh, what are the things? Uh, air molecules, uh, dust particles, smoke, uh, water droplets, etc. These are all suspended or together. Is the atmosphere so it is called what is a heterogeneous mixture? What is called a heterogeneous mixture? And uh, when light passing through this heterogeneous mixture, there will take place what is a uh, there will take place a uh, partial and a irregular reflection. What will happen? Partial and uh, irregular. reflection partial and to to where see what remember one is partial second one is irregular reflection these two together constitute actually what is a scattering what is actually scattering partial and irregular reflection if light passing to a clear solution is this partial and irregular reflection happens there no there does not happen but if it is passing through a colloidal fluid what happens this partial and irregular reflection what is called scattering happens so we can see the path of light what it is called a tyndall effect and it is called what is a tyndall effect the term is called what is a tyndall effect now on to questions to you uh, You are trying to answer these questions. First one, what is actually Tyndall effect? What is the uh, when light passing through a colloidal fluid, uh, the scattering of it happens, and it is called uh, Tyndall effect. Okay. Then another question is: uh, Is in a clear solution there will take place a uh, scattering? No. Now the next question: In which type of solution we can see the path of light? We can see the path of light through colloidal fluid, colloidal fluid or suspension, colloidal fluid or suspension. Then another question: See, scattering is due to regular reflection. or irregular reflection scattering is due to regular reflection or irregular reflection what it is what is its answer say try to remember it it is due to irregular and partial reflection now we want discuss about blue color of sky the means uh, just before we discuss about what is actually scattering it is the partial and uh, irregular reflection partial and the uh, irregular reflection now why this blue color that means due to scattering what are the things we can observe it is due to scattering blue color of the sky then that is a uh, deep sea appears blue and also sun appears red during sunrise and sunset these are all due to scattering blue color of the sky deep sea appears in blue color and also rising and setting sun they appear as red these are all due to scattering these are all 
due to scattering of light. Now we can discuss about uh, that is uh, scattering depends on size of the particle. Scattering and the size of the particles are related. That means uh, when the size of the particle is smaller, then shorter wavelength light uh, such as blue, that means uh, you know that uh, region is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, these are the colors. Even this uh, shorter uh, wavelength region is uh, violet, indigo, blue, these are the shorter wavelength. Why the sky is blue means uh, that means uh, when the size of the particles that is in the atmosphere, part, atmosphere that is the particular size, particle size is smaller. That means the uh, size of the particle is smaller than these colors, violet, indigo, blue, these are all scattered more than other colors. The combined effect of these all provides a uh, sky, which color, blue color. That means uh, when the size of the particle is smaller, then which color is scattered? That means blue color is scattered more than compared to other colors. So the sky appears what is blue in color. That means we consider at noon. That means the sun is just above our head. Then the sunlight is directly traveling. So the scattering of light is, is very small, scattering of light is very small, so the sky in that time appears as white. The sky in the uh, noon time appears white because uh, at the noon time, where is the sun? Sun is just above our head, then uh, the distance travel it through the atmosphere is lesser, hence the scattering is less. So at that time we can see the sky as a white in color but when the light traveling very far distance that means in the morning and evening that means rising and setting sun rising and setting sun that appears red white this appears in red color because at that time sunlight want to travel more distance and through two things we want to remember here one in the morning and evening that means the rising and the setting sun appears red why this sun because in the morning and evening light from the sun want to travel more distance compared to all other time that means it want to travel more distance and also it want to travel through thick atmosphere that means more distance thick atmosphere which are the two terms you want to especially remember here which are the two terms say which are one is uh, more distance uh, and second one is uh, thick atmosphere. So, shorter wavelength light in this time scattered and lost. That means uh, when this light travels more distance and through thick atmosphere, what happens to shorter wavelength light uh, that is scattered and lost then the long Lower wavelength light such as red only can reach to our eye. So we see uh, the rising and the setting sun in red color. Rising and setting sun appears in red color. Now see here two questions you want to remember. One, why sky appears blue? What is the reason? Is it due to dispersion? or scattering. It is due to scatter. Then second one which light be with a shorter wavelength. This blue one that means violet indigo this color. 
with a shorter wavelength is scattered more than this longer wavelength light. Okay. Now, when we consider the size of the particle is more than the wavelength, then the all colors scattered equally. If the size of the particle is more than that of the wavelength, then all colors scattered at the same rate. So the sky at that time appears white or gray color. We can see now in which time sunlight want to travel more time during sunrise and sunset, and also it will at that time travel through thick atmosphere. Because of that uh, shorter wavelength uh, scattered and lost, uh, that longer wavelength uh, light uh, such as red that will reach to our eye because of that we can see that in red color. That we can see in red color. Now, when we consider in the case of moon or above the atmosphere, such as uh, there is no atmosphere in the case of moon or outer space in the case of moon or atmosphere uh, outer space there is no atmosphere there is no atmosphere because of that uh, there does not happen any scattering so the sky of the moon appears uh, dark sky of the moon appears uh, dark or outer space appears dark because there is no scattered light there is no scattered light see what are the things you want to remember about the scattering first of all about the scattering partial and irregular reflection second which color scattered more shorter wavelength light scattered more than longer wavelength light while rising and setting sun appears rising and setting sun appears red because at that time light want to travel longer distance and also through thick atmosphere because of that shorter wavelength light is scattered and lost then the longer wavelength light red only reaching to our eye because of that we have that appears red in color now what are the things we discussed today we discussed about atmospheric refraction then about tingling of star tingling of star is due to atmospheric refraction this atmospheric refraction is the reason for the uh, sun disk appears uh, in the extended form. That means the uh, sun's disk appears uh, in the extended form is also due to what is this uh, atmospheric refraction. Then about uh, what is uh, uh, scattering, uh, which color scattered more uh, than about uh, uh, why the sun appears. Uh, Sun's atmosphere appears uh, red in color during sunset and uh, sunrise. With this, all we can wind up today's class. Okay.